gonna be on how to change your Mountain Max 700 lower drive shaft bearing. So yeah, basically it's kind of skipping. It's you can tell you can actually as you can see there is the actual seal right there. It's coming out the bearings shot. Same with the other side. So this fits gonna be on how to how to change that basically. First step, take off your pipes, your silencer. Okay, pipes are out. Basically it's just a bunch of springs. You should have about that many springs. Next step, you're gonna wanna take your chain case cover off. So it's one, two, four bolts. Take the four bolts off. You can take your recoil off if you want to, but we're not gonna mess with that right now. I can just move it off to the side. Another reminder, after taking these 12 millimeter bolts out, this whole chain case is full of oil. So it's either gonna be a mess, you can just take it out, let all the oil spill everywhere. Or what you can try to do is take a little plastic baby and wrap it up around there and try to catch most of it. Got the chain case cover out. That's what it's gonna look like. Ours is pretty, pretty bad. We got, there wasn't much oil in there, so we, we figured fully with the uh, plastic bag, we just shoved some paper towels in there. And look what that is. That's a ball from a bearing. That's how bad our bearing is down there. The bearing we're gonna be changing is under here, under this gear. The first step is you're gonna want this tensioner here. Loosen that up all the way. And this should slide right back. And you should be able to take off your chain. And if you can't, then we're just gonna loosen this nut and take off the chain and the, the gears together. You know your lower drive shaft bearing's pretty bad when you go to loosen your gear. And the entire shaft moves. Yeah, not good. So next step is loosen this nut and that nut after you're done with the tensioner. Then you're gonna want, also helping with that is you put your brake on. Have someone hold the brake or if you have a parking brake, put that on. Okay, the nut and the bolt are off. Now you can take it off. Both the nut are, and bolt are off, you can just pull them right off. You might have a little trouble, but... And catch the little washer. Make sure you catch that spacer there. Washer. Spacer. That's what that's gonna look like. Not terrible, but down here, I don't know if you can see that, but this whole thing moves and it's all lopsided. Your next step after you get your gear, your chain off, you see that's pretty bad in there. It's riding on basically the bearing race. Next step is you're going to take your chain case off, so you're going to want to take Caliper, the bolts there. Um, looks like you want to take this cable off. Um, after you get this all off, there's four bolts, I believe, for the whole chain case. So that's one, two, three, and four. So we got the caliper off. And on this sled, there's a parking brake. Most sleds do not, but that was keeping us that was keeping us from not being able to take it off. It was basically around the rotor like that and we couldn't take the whole chain case off. So it was just a big long bolt. We took the whole thing out, a couple springs. We got that out. Now we should be able to now we should be able to uh, take it off. Pull it off. Whole chain case. Off she comes. What just dropped? All right, so we got another spacer there. Two spacers. Okay, this is what we're looking at. The bearing is actually in the chain case here. As you can see, there's nothing left. It's rounded out pretty bad. So correction, this is a spacer. This other one is not a spacer. That's just 
generates from the bearing. Next step, come on the other side, your secondary clutch. Uh, you're going to want to loosen the bolt first and then we'll take off the belt. After you get your primary clutch out, your, your speedo cable comes right out. You got three bolts, one on the bottom there. Take that out. We'll see. So that's off. And look what we found here. This whole bearing's gone too. All rounded out in there. Just bad. So we got our new bearing kit. Um, we're gonna want to take the size of this socket. One and five sixteenths. That fits perfectly. This, oh, this bearing was in here. We took the snap ring out. First you gotta take the snap ring out, yep. Then you just flip it over, fit your socket in there, and pound that bearing race right out. 